4,500 rand is invested at 10% interest per annum, compounded monthly. What on earth does that mean? Well, that simply means that though I get 10% per annum, I get my interest every month, which we will learn a little bit more about later on. Um, if you haven't done it yet, uh, we get our interest monthly, which is a very good thing because it means my money starts growing earlier. How much is this investment worth after eight years? Well, let's, let's see. Okay. It is still compound interest because they told me it's compounded monthly. So, which means it's added every month. One plus I to the power of N. Do I know my future? Do I amortize value? No. Okay. Do I know my principal value? Yes, I do. It was four thousand five hundred originally invested. Do I know my interest rate? Yes, but remember, what interest rate am I earning? I am earning ten percent per year, but I don't get my interest yearly. I get it monthly. So I get my interest rate, even though it's ten thousand ten percent per year. I get it monthly. So I need to divide it by twelve. And not only by 12, but also by 100 because of its percentage. So I actually divide my 10% with 1,200. Because I'm earning it every month, I must divide my interest with 12 because there's 12 months. I could be earning it um, every four months. That means I'm going to earn it three times a year. And I'll divide by three. I could be earning interest every second month, which means I'm going to earn it six times a year. So I would have divided by 6. Or maybe even I could get it biannually. means I get it twice a year. Then I would have divided it with 2. In this case I get 10% per annum. That is divided into 12 months because I get it monthly. So I divide it into 12. And I also divide with 100. So I actually divide with 1200. And I'm going to leave it like that. My calculator can sort that out. And I don't need to write commas, it's just going to make calculations more difficult. And now N. N represents the number of years it's invested. No! N does not represent the number of years it's invested. N represents the number of times I am going to get interest. I get it 12 times in one year. I invested it for 8 years, which means I get it 12 times a year for 8 years, which means I get it 12 times 8, which gives me 96 months. I get it 96 times interest is added. So let's see. Okay. My original amount was 4,500 invested. My interest in this case is 10% uh, divided by 1,200 the power of 96. Now those numbers seem extremely big, but 10 divided by 1,200 is quite small. So I take my 4,500, multiply, and in my brackets, 1 plus 10 divided by 1,200, close your brackets to the exponent of 96. And we get 9,981 and 79 cents. 9,981 comma 79 cents. That is how much that investment would be worth if I get my interest monthly, which accumulates to 10% a year over 8 years. Okay, one more example. Let's see to calculate the principle of any such an investment. Peter has to pay back 69,448 cents uh, huh, on his study loan for his property, on his study loan of three years. The loan was charged at 15% interest per annum compounded biannually. How much did he originally borrow to pay for his studies? Okay, so let's just put all of the information that we have together. Okay, we know 
that this is again, it's compounded biannually, and we'll look at that in just a moment, but compounded, refer to compound interest, there's our formula. Do we know the amortized value, the future value? Yes, that future value is 6, 9, 4, 4, 8, comma, 57. Okay. Do we know the principal? No, that's the amount that he originally borrowed and that we're trying to work out. How about the interest that was earned on this uh, loan? Now, again, remember that my interest earned, though it is 50%, 15% per annum, it wasn't awarded annually, it was awarded biannually, which means uh, twice a year. And that means that we have to take 15% and divide it with 2. And also because it's percent, we take 15 and divide it by 200. And if you wanted to, this time it simplifies to a nice number, 0, 0. Okay. That is my interest earned every six months. How many times did I get interest again? It's only three years, but I don't earn it three times. I earned it twice every year. So I earned it a total of six times. And now if we put all of this into our equation, we find the following. 69,448,57 is what I get when I take my principal, multiply by the bracket with my interest, and an exponent that represents the number of times I write. So now solving P is the solution to this problem, 69,448. I actually just divide both sides with that bracket to the exponent 6. So that bracket is 1,075 to the exponent of 6. And using my calculator, I then get 69448. Is divided by 1.075 to the power of 6, which means he borrowed initially 45,000 rand. That was his original amount borrowed from whichever person gave him the loan. I hope that was helpful and now you try.